Ahoy shipmates, real quick video. Uh, cycle's going well, ammonia's at zero, going through the nitrite spike at the moment. However, this episode I'm tackling the issue of having the open top. Now, I know a lot of people maybe have open tops um, and it's perfectly fine. However, I'm still a wee bit concerned about can paying a lot of money for a certain fish and for them to just jump out the tank. So I'm going to try and uh, not eliminate the risk but reduce it. So, I can't find wood to match the cabinet to make a canopy, so I've come up with this. I've got a pane of glass cut to the size of the tank, and I've got these little clips that I've stuck on the sides, and this fits really well. However, a couple of issues that I'm not too keen on is it steams up with condensation. Uh, your gas exchange uh, is reduced. Um, obviously, the good thing is it cuts down on your evaporation, but you're not really letting much oxygen in and the carbon dioxide is nearly getting room to get out. So change of plan because that wasn't really working. So I've got the side clips. I've glued a wee bit of glass into the centre and I'm going to cut the big pane of glass in half. So I'm now going to actually cut about two inches off each pane so that I create a little gap in the centre to allow for the carbon dioxide to escape the tank and obviously oxygen to get in a boot so that should reduce the condensation and it's worked a treat there's no any condensation building up um, there's plenty of room around the sides and I know a fish could still potentially jump out of in one of these areas I've not eliminated the risk but I've certainly reduced the risk compared to what it was before so I'm quite happy however I'm not really happy that I can see everything that's going on in the top so I kind of get a canopy, I kind of get wood to match the tank. So I'm going to come up with something that's going to disguise this a wee bit better um, and try to make it look a wee bit cleaner because it does kind of look a wee bit ugly just now. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. I've got this stickery stuff that you... I forget what you call it, it's like security foam. Um, and it gives you like frosted glass look that you put on your windows kind of like if you're not wanting nosy neighbours or someone to be looking in a certain window um, and it's really good stuff you just cut it to the size that you want and you stick it on um, and you can peel it off and it doesn't leave no glue no sticky mess or nothing on your glass so it's perfect so I'm really happy with this I like the way it looks um, it does the job I can, you can still see through it a wee bit but it kind of disguises the mess that's actually going on with the lids and stuff. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. Like I say, if I do find and manage to source the wood to build a canopy, then this can all be taken off and no problem. It's not going to leave any mess on the tank. It's can very simple to get rid of. Um, the clips just come out, that bit of glass is siliconed in, that's easy cut off and cleaned up. So... There's nothing on here that's like permanent, you know what I mean? It can easily be taken off at any time, should I manage to source the wood. Now, I did phone the company that built the tank for me, um, well, where I got the tank from, and asked them if I could get wood, but they've told me that the wood actually comes from Spain. They gave me the company, so I got in touch with them, and they told me that it was going to cost me for what I wanted, and to get it delivered, I'd be looking at over £300, <laughs> and I'm like, nah, there's no way I'm paying that just to make a canopy, so, um, hence why I've went down this route and done this instead, this was way cheaper, um, and it still looks pretty good. Okay, so I thought I'd add some copy pods into the system, I like I say, I still got some, uh, nitrites and um, so um, it's kind of touch and go as to whether or not these are actually going to survive but i'm going to add them anyway um and obviously once everything's can to zero i'll add some more but uh, i'm just going to add them just now and see how they get on well so far so good uh, these guys have been in the tank for a good few hours now and they're all starting to spread about some are on the glass uh, <laughs> some of them have been blowing about like um, down the sump and stuff but overall I think most of them have settled in 
Um, so far, so good. I suspected if the nitrite was going to be a problem, because of the size of them, it would pretty much have killed them well before now. So I think they are going to survive, and I think they're going to be okay. So that's the first signs of life in the in the dead man's chest, which is always good. Okay, so just a quick shot of the refugium. Um, one of my subscribers, you offered me some Cheeto. Now, I, didn't, I wasn't being rude when I never re replied to you. You asked me to send you a PM. Now, I tried everything and I could not figure out how to send a PM on YouTube. So if one of you shipmates can tell me how to do it, please do. Because this nugget couldn't have figured it out. <laughs> I tried everything. I was trying on my laptop, my iPad, my phone, and I just could not do it. I don't know what the heck I was doing wrong. And it's probably dead simple, but yeah, I just couldn't have done it. So I've got this wee ball, it cost me like £3.50 off of eBay. Now my nitrates are sitting about 5 parts per million, so there's not a great abundance of food for this thing to be growing. But hopefully in the coming weeks, with my nitrates rising, when it's coming to the end of the cycle, hopefully this will kick off and fill, start filling out this section nicely. So that's pretty much it shipmates, I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, I'd like to thank all the subscribers, um, your support and everything on this past year and everything has been amazing, so thank you very much for that, and if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't even be back in the hobby, but thanks to you um, pestering me and some of you nagging me <laughs> to get back um, and give me a boot up the backside, I'm back, and as long as you guys are happy enough to can be supporting my videos and watching the videos, I'm happy enough to keep making them, uh, so yeah, thank you very much. Um, uh, regards to the canopy uh, I'd just like to thank my wife Cheers babes You've probably picked the hardest cabinet That I possibly you could have For me to get a match with wood <laughs> So cheers for that So could you only have picked like white gloss I mean <laughs> that would have been so easy But no This is JD we're talking about It has to be done the hard way like So yeah there is that But I must admit The solution that I've come up with Um with the glass lid and stuff, I'm really happy with it. I like the way it looks. I like this frosted look on the top. It does look pretty cool. Um, I've reduced the amount of operation that I'm getting on the tank, and I've also reduced the risk of fish jumping out the tank. Still a possibility, but it's not as bad as it was when it was fully open. So overall, I'm very happy with the way it looks just now. But like I say, in the future, if I do manage, uh, some miracle, manage to get wood that matches my cabinet, well then, happy days, I'll build a canopy. But in the meantime, I'm just going to stick with this and see how this goes. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's pretty much it, shipmates. So, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.